So do you remember those vlogs where I was like, hey, I have goals for the day and I'm, you know, getting up and getting dressed and doing my makeup and hair. Today was not one of those days. <laughs> I uh, just got off the couch, really. I woke up not feeling so, so good. So I just chilled on the couch, watched uh, YouTube videos because that was a productive use of my time. And uh, now I'm getting ready to actually do things. We are putting up the Christmas tree tonight, which I am so excited about. I'm getting in the Christmas spirit. I can't, we usually put it up like way before now. This is really late for us. We're those crazy Christmas people you see all of the angry Facebook memes about. We definitely started listening to Christmas music at like November 1st. Um, but we're finally getting a chance to put up the Christmas tree, so we're gonna do that tonight. You'll get a chance to uh, check it out. But first, oh dear, oh no, this is not, mm -mm. we're just gonna, that's better. Right guys? This should never see the light of the internet, but it's going to. Now I'm up here because I just heard the doorbell ring and I happen to know that Amazon just dropped off a few packages for me because I got everyone's Christmas shopping done from the comfort of my couch because thank you Amazon. I'm gonna go pick up those packages, get Christmas presents sorted and get ready for the Christmas spirit. There is one I did not expect, nor order. Let's hope it's not a bomb, guys. I'm just kidding. It says Merry Christmas on it. Oh my God, this is so cute. My friend Mary does amazing animal paintings and I saw this on Facebook and commented on it that I wanted to buy it off of her. And she delivered it today. Look at this, guys. Like, she is, she is so talented and I, I love chickens. Like I love chickens so much. I had three of them as pets growing up. You'll notice a theme in my life and it's that I've always had way too many pets. But this is seriously so sweet. Mary, thank you so much. I absolutely love him. His name is Henrietta, by the way, and he is perfect. I guess that would be a she if her name is Henrietta. I'm gonna open these to make sure that like I got the right orders, but I can't show them on camera because they're Christmas presents for people. I'm not gonna lie, one of these is for me. Cause when you're drugged and you can't sleep and it's 2 a.m., you're gonna buy yourself stuff online. It's just, I mean, how it works. Where's the Christmas tree footage, you ask? Well, it didn't happen and it still hasn't happened. Uh, we're not lazy, just tired. <sighs> the issue is we have to move this table that's covered in things to get our Christmas tree up, which sounds like the lamest excuse ever. And it is, but that's the reality of things. I know I plugged in those Christmas lights and got real excited for a second there, but no Christmas tree footage just yet. But in the meantime, a story from today. So I shared in a recent video that I had my counselor coming over and that, you know, not a lot of my counseling had really focused on my actual amputation yet and that things about that were actually, you know, okay. I felt like I was handling it well and that's still true on the one hand. On the other hand, I hit a wall yesterday. I don't want to say I had a breakdown, but I think the reality is setting in that like, oh, I don't have a leg and it's not coming back. That might sound really dumb to all of you who are well aware of the fact that yeah, if you chop a leg off, it's not gonna grow back, kid. But I've gone through so many surgeries and gone through so many recoveries that I'm really used to, you know, going through surgery, having surgical pain, being stuck at home, being on medications for a little while, going through the part of the process that I've been in right now. And now that I'm starting to get out and about and go in public, and that was kind of what set it off yesterday. I was going with my husband to Best Buy to pick up something. And it's like this whole process to get ready to go out and do anything. It takes longer to get ready. That's one thing that you'll learn as an amputee if anyone out there is about to be one. It takes longer to get ready to go places. I was exhausted by the time I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. And by ready to go, I mean, I just want to sleep for like two hours now because I have no energy, I'm out of breath, this is embarrassing, like I used to be super fit and could like do everything and ugh, you know, and um, just got really cross and really grumpy and it took me a while to like actually process through the 
crusty exterior and be like, oh, okay, I'm really having a hard time right now. I'm having a hard time with the fact that like, when I walk up to the register at Best Buy, the girl is staring at my leg before she's like staring at me and greets me. And that's okay. I honestly mean that's okay. I do not hold that against people, but it's a weird adjustment. And I feel like I have to look put together when I go out in public now because people are looking at me. I never used to feel that way, like, at all. I would go out in public, oh, you know, whenever, in gym shorts and an old ratty t-shirt, uh, cause I didn't care. Now I feel like whenever I leave the house, I want to look nice. First of all, because it matters to me and I enjoy it, but second of all, because I know that people are looking at me. And I don't want them to stare at the broken girl and think, you know, I don't know, more negative things, if that makes sense. And I know that that's a disordered way of thinking and I'm working through it, but um, it's been a hard 24 hours is essentially what I'm trying to say. It's part of the process and I know that it's part of the process and I'm not even two months into this thing. And so I know I'm gonna have moments like this. And I think it's important to acknowledge them and to try to figure out what I'm really feeling instead of just being, you know, cross to my husband instead of talking about what I'm actually experiencing and the insecurity that I'm feeling. So that's where I'm at today and that will shift and I'll be fine again for a while and I'll be good and then I'm sure I'll have another hard day or two. I think it kind of comes in waves for me. So in the interest of keeping things real, which is the reason why I started this channel, that's where I honestly am. Things are not always rainbows and butterflies. Things are not awful. I think they're somewhere right in between.